What's up guys, Hamsterwool here with a new video and today I'm going to show you what add-ons I use and why. Now before I start off, I just want to let you know that all these add-ons will be listed in the video description below this video for you to download. So let's say you see an add-on that you really like and you want to use it, you can uh, find it in the video description below this video and uh, download it yourself and fiddle around with it. So without further ado, let's get started. And the first add-on I want to talk about is an add-on called Lazy Pig. Let me fire it up real quick. Lazy Pig is kind of uh, does the name pride, so to say, because it does a lot of things for you. Again, it's highly customizable. The main reason why I took Lazy Pig is because of rating Zogaroop. Now, if you're rating Zogaroop, if you ever rated it, you know that there is a ton of coins and Bijus dropping. And uh, usually that's uh, neat before greed. So what you have to do is when a ton of those drop, you have to individually need on all those damn things. And it gets really tedious after at one run, it gets really tedious. So what Lazy Pig can do, or one of the things it can do, is automatically need on those coins for you, or greed, or pass. It just really depends on what you want. So um, it can do that. It's one of the cool things it can do. It can also auto uh, auto accept any invites that you get from certain people. So let's say um, a good scenario to think about is let's say you're waiting for an invite for a raid but you have to go AFK super quick, but you don't want to miss that invite. So what Lazy Pig does is as soon as um, a guildmate, again, it says here, guildmates, as soon as a guildmate invites you, it automatically accepts that invite, so you don't miss that invite. Um, again, you can do it for friends, you can even do it for strangers, though, again, I, I recommend that uh, to turn that off. Again, Lazy Pig has this as its standard features, but again, there's just so much more you can do with it. So it's an add-on I highly recommend, and you can download it yourself and kind of mess around with it and see what uh, you prefer. So that's a lazy pig real quick. All right, next add-on I want to talk about is called Big Wigs. Um, Big Wigs does a lot of things, and if I'll uh, talk about every single thing it does, we'll be here till tomorrow. But uh, I'll fire it up real quick so you guys can get a quick impression. Big Wigs is kind of like deadly boss mods. It kind of keeps track of every single um, ability that a boss does and kind of gives you an rage. The really cool thing about Big Wigs, it also like um, makes you say certain things. So let's say um, you're doing four horsemen and a void zone spawns on you. It will automatically say void zone on and then your name. So other people then know, oh cool, there's a void zone there. I need to watch my uh, we need to watch my ass. Um, Big Wigs also allows um, officers or like raid leaders to initiate a pull timer, which is really nice um, to have. So I, you know, as a DPS, you know when to go. It's also really cool because. At some uh, some some trash mobs in, in Xramas, for instance, um, they do uh, they want to do a precast. So basically, they want the target target to die really quick. So at zero, they want every ranged caster to kind of like throw their fireball or shadow bolt so the target dies really fast. So when they do, so when the uh, raid leader initiates a pull timer, you can basically count it down, and when it hits three seconds for a mage at least, I know ah okay, fireball takes three seconds. When it hits three, I'll cast fireball, and then everyone cast a spell at the same time and then the target dies really fast. So that's kind of what Big Wigs is, very simply explained. Again, it's very um, very advanced, does a lot of things, but uh, there you go. So it's basically about uh, abilities of bosses, it makes you like call out certain things automatically, and uh, it allows for like pull timers and such. So there you go, that's Big Wigs uh, super quick. Another add-on I want to talk about is Atlas Loot. Atlas Loot is uh, pretty well known amongst the uh, vanilla WoW community, but I'll talk about it real quick. Atlas Loot is basically an add-on that shows you um, all the maps from all the dungeons and raids in WoW Vanilla, and it uh, shows you what bosses are there and where the bosses are. So let's say I want to know where Ragnaros is, for instance. I know, okay, he's right there in this like s like circle thingy right there. So that it's, it's really nice if you're not that familiar with a dungeon and you just want to know, okay, what bosses are there, what does the dungeon look like, etc., etc. So Atlas loot is or Atlas is kind of um, kind of works really well with Atlas loot. So let's say you found a dungeon and you found the map and you see a certain boss. Okay, okay, well it's nice that that boss is there, but what does it drop? So Atlas loot is an add-on that has again all the raids and the dungeons and a few other things. And per boss, it shows you what can drop. So let's say okay, I'm gonna do. Um, I'm going to do uh, Black Rock Depths, and I want to know, okay, what drops from the Emperor? So I'm going to go to Emperor, and there you go. Now you know what can drop from that boss. Like, oh, it drops a really cool 
chess piece or oh it drops the hand of justice you know a pretty best it's a best slot item for melees and stuff like that so it's really nice to see what drops before you run something if you're not that familiar it also has um, item sets so let's say you want to know okay um, I'm a mage I I, I want to get the tier sets but are they any good so you can go to tier 2 let's say and then mage and you can see for each individual item if it's going to be any good for your class Again, it has for all the classes, it has for all the tier sets, even the, the offsets like AQ and ZG, um, Epic, the, the PvP sets and all that. So it's, it's really nice add-on to have to quickly look up what stats um, or what items it is instead of having like all tabs to some database and mess with that. So yeah, that's an add-on I, I really, really recommend anyone who's interested in like knowing beforehand what can drop in terms of loot. Next add-on I want to talk about is Bongos. Bongos is this uh, custom action bar add-on that I have right here. Um, the thing is, I really like to have... Um, I prefer the look of having a few bars stacked on top of each other um, right in the middle. I think it just looks very clean. And what I also like, at least on this server, is that, you know I raid next Rama, so I have a lot of consumables I need to bring. And I just want to be able to see in uh, with, a, with a click with a click, quick glance what add-ons... Uh, what, um, what consumables I still have in my bags. Like, do I have enough fire resistance potions? Do I still have enough supreme power flask and all that? And I can just see that right here. As you can see, I'm not carrying anything right now. But when I'm raiding, obviously this is all like filled to the brim. And I can very easily see what I still have. So I have one set of action bars for ma for mostly utility or uh, abilities, I mean. And then I have one uh, set of action bars for consumables and utility like portals and buffing. Um, you know, you can do like a whole bunch of other things with this add-on. It also allows you to move the map around. So instead of it being uh, on top of here, you can move it down here or whatever you want. You can make extra action bars like this one. I have a very uh, short and sweet action bar just for my trinkets. And it's just, I, I love it. It's great. It's called Bongos. Next item I want to talk about is an add-on called Buff Watch. Um, now, Buff Watch is really great for any caster that needs to buff in raids. So let's say a druid or a priest or a mage in my... Uh, for, uh, for example, it's uh, great to have. Now, I don't know if uh, everyone here knows that is watching this video, but pre-Wrath of the Lich King, if you used Arcane Brilliance or Gift of the Wild, it only buffed the group that you were in. It didn't buff the whole raid. Um, and as you're raiding with 40 people, which is eight groups in vanilla, it's kind of nice to have an add-on that kind of keeps track of who has, let's say, Arcane Intellect or who and who doesn't have it. Um, and that's basically where Buff Watch comes in. It just watches your buffs. It's very self-explanatory, actually. So, take me for instance. I have no buffs, buffs as of right now. But if I give myself an intellect, there you go. Now I pop up and you can see, ah, okay, so uh, I have intellect. So, again, if you're raiding, the list obviously is much longer because there's more people in your party or your raid. And then you can very quickly see, okay, this guy is missing Arcane Intellect, this guy isn't. So you don't have to sift through your through every single group or your raid UI and figure out, okay. And then just click every individual person to see if they have that buff. It's just very handy to have. So again, I recommend that to any caster that needs the buff in uh, World of Warcraft Vanilla. Next one I want to talk about is Cthulhu Warner. Um, if I type CTW... You can see um, one of the things it does is show you a green ball. Now... Um, there is part of the Cthulhu, Cthulhu fight where you may, where you need to make sure you don't, uh, you're not too close to other people. So let's say I move too close to someone else, it will flash red, and when I move, if, if I'm far away enough, it will go green. Right as of right now, because there's, I'm standing next to no one. So that's one of the things it does. It also keeps time. Uh, it keeps track of certain timers during the fight. So let's say you're in the uh, vulnerability phase where you get to attack Cthulhu. It will keep. It will show you just how much time you have left before it goes back to the. Um, the tentacle face. So again, it's a really nice add-on if you're that far into the content where you're doing Cthulhu. It's just, it's pretty much a must-have. I think almost every guild that is um, raiding Cthulhu will uh, require you to have that. So there you go. Cthulhu Warner. Again, all this will be in the video description below this video. Next one is character stats. Now, in World of Warcraft Vanilla, you have your character screen here. You have all your base stats. You have melee attack, power, range attack, but no spell damage. And that's where caster stats comes in. It kind of adds that to your um, standard uh, character screen. And this is basically caster stats, as you can see. It just keeps track of how much spell damage you have, how much fire damage, spell crit, spell hit, all of that stuff. 
So it's very easy to see for yourself, okay, how close am I to hit cap? Instead of having to go and <laughs> individually count, okay, this has 2%, this has 1%, okay, that's 3 and just keep going, Colin. Instead of you can just go to cash for stats and see it in one uh, quick glance for now, you can see, ah, I have 6% hit right now. So great add-on for any caster. Next add-on I want to talk about is Chronometer. Chronometer is basically an add-on that keeps track of any debuffs you have on the target, mostly dots and hots. So um, let me see if I can ca cast a rank 1 Frostbolt on this target. She can show you guys. There you go. So as you can see, it keeps track of the uh, Frostbolt slow on the target. And when it expires, and there you go, it's done. So that's basically Chronometer real quick. It also keeps track of other things like dots, let's say if you're a Warlock. Or also if you're a healer and you want to keep track of, let's say you're a priest, and you want to keep track of the renews you have on your players, you cast a renew, it pops up on the chronometers, and there you go. You now know how much for how much longer that renew is ticking on that target. So another great add-on, chronometer. Next add-on is decursive, which is this little thingy right here. Um, again, decursive is very highly customizable. You can do a lot of things with it. And look at that. Blizz-like people, blizz-like. <laughs> But uh, the cursive basically uh, keeps track of uh, the people in your raid that have a curse. And um, instead of having to manually sift through all the raid frames that you would have if you're raiding with 40 people, it automatically shows below this little bar right here what people are the, have, have a curse. And the cool thing with the cursive is you can prioritize certain targets. So let's say there is a curse. It, uh, it reduces healing, t uh, healing done by 75%. Now, obviously, you want to decurse a tank quicker over a DPS that's standing way in the back doing ranged damage because the tank is obviously taking much more damage, so you want to decurse him first. And this add-on kind of allows you to prioritize that player over the hunter that's kind of shooting his bow in the back like who gives a damn. So <laughs> that's basically what this add-on does. It's great if you're a druid or a mage that has to decurse. Instead of, like again, like having to manually sift through the raid frames, you can just... Just keep on clicking. It automatically decurses. It's great. So that's decursive. Next add-on is DPS Mate. Um, it's this um, damage meter right here. Again, it's damage, but it can do so much more. It can damage taken, you know, healing taken, all that stuff. It just has so much things you can keep track of. And out of all the damage meters, or whatever you want to call them, the, the meters, I've tried in Wild Vanilla. This is probably my favorite. I tried, I think it was Recap. Uh, damage meters, I think it was called. This one is by far the best. It's the most customizable. It looks the best. You can like customize the looks and the colors, and it just it just looks great and works great as well. So again, it's called DPS Mate M A T E. And again, like I said, it will all be in the description below this video. So yeah, I like this one a lot. Next add-on is very mage specific, and it's actually very fire mage specific. Now this needs a little bit of an introduction. So fire mages in vanilla work quite different than Burning Crusade and up. Now if you're in Burning Crusade and you're a fire mage and you get a crit on target, you get the ignite, you know, the, the talent here that does dot like damage over time on the target. The thing is though, Burning Crusade and up, you, uh, every mage gets their own little ignite. But it didn't work like that in vanilla. In vanilla, um, there was one ignite dot uh, an ignite tick on the target that was shared by all the mages. So what happens is the first mage that gets a crit gets the ignite and then all the other mages, all the other crits that come afterwards stack on top of that ignite. So what happens is that one ignite dot that one mage has deals one, a lot of damage, but also a ton of threat. I mean, it can go, you can go from like having no threat to almost over aggering to over aggering really damn quick. And of course, when you over aggro, you're probably going to die as a clothy. Um, some other people might die and you might even wipe the raid. You don't want that, obviously. So Ignition is a really nice add-on. What it does, it's this little tiny bar right here, but it shows you what target and who has ignited it. So I, I, again, I can show you because if I cast Scorch, it will just die instantly. But below the target name, it will show you the name of the mage and the damage that the ignite that the ignite is ticking for. So let's say I'm with I'm together with four other mages and I'm hitting that target, and my name doesn't pop up. Now I know okay it's not my ignite. I can kind of I don't really have to watch my threat that closely 
But when I do get the ignite, I'm like, okay, I now really have to pay attention to my threat to make sure that I don't over aggro. And again, it shows the ignite damage. So if it's, let's say, 5,000 instead of 3,000, again, this damage can go up really, really high. I, I know, okay, now I need really to slow down. And I have that uh, right above KTM. I can might as well talk about KTM right now. KTM is just a threat meter. That's all it is. It shows bars of how much threat you have. And I can basically scan real quick. Okay, do I have the ignite? Yes. How much is it ticking for? Where am I on the threat meter? And if I see myself rising up really fast because that, that dot damage is really high, I basically have to tell the other mages, okay, stop casting fireball. This You need to drop the ignite. Again, I have an add-on right here that will say drop the ignite in mage chat so the other mages know, okay, we need to stop real quick or else um, my character will over aggro. So that's Ignition. Again, it's probably pretty sure that every serious hardcore raiding guild um, requires you to have it as a fire mage, and it's just a great add-on. Keeps track of the ignites. It's just amazing. And again, KTM, also a great add-on. It's just very simple threat meter, but again, you know, threat is such a big issue in vanilla that you really should have this. It's one of those things that you really need to get as a um, vanilla raider. Next add-on I want to talk about is Luna unit frames. Probably know what add-on it is. It's the unit frames. Um, again, great because I prefer having um, things like health and mana very close to me. And I have a kind of a big monitor. So if my uh, my character's over here and my eyes are kind of like right there because the, the, the encounter might be right there. And then my mana's all the way over here. So I want to keep everything kind of close to me. And this, this add-on um, allows me to do that. It's also great because it has its own built-in cast timer for myself, even though I have a custom casting bar add-on that I'll talk about in a minute. It also has a cast bar for the enemy. So, I don't know, if you're heavy on PvP, you want to know if a mage is casting Polymorph, you can now see that with this add-on. And again, it also keeps ta track of uh, the target, and the target's target, again, it's a great add-on, and it's you can move things around, you can like make it bigger, smaller, and it has these cool little 3D portraits, kind of nice. So there you go, Luna, unit frames. Again, I've tried tons of other unit frames in vanilla. I've tried x and I think a few others. This is by far my favorite one. It's It works great. It doesn't show, it show up any stupid error messages like x did. It's just amazing. So there you go, Luna, unit frames. And then we get to my custom add a cast bar, which is OCB2. Again, with this, uh, this bongos layout, the normal cast bar will be kind of like here, like right in the middle, which doesn't look that great. And I like having a slightly bigger and wider cast bar. So it, again, I cast something, and you can see right here, it says shows the seconds, and that's pretty much it. It's very simple, but I like having a, bit, a slightly bigger uh, cast bar. So it's called OCB2. Next add-on I want to talk about is Outfitter. Again, if you're someone that has multiple sets for when you're raiding or doing PvP, it's great to have. Now, me being a mage, I have um, different sets for raiding. Because when I'm doing a boss, obviously I want to focus on hit. I want to be hit cap. But when I'm doing trash mobs, usually those trash mobs are level 60, 61, 62, something like that. I don't need that much hit. So when I'm doing trash, I can actually swap out some hit gear to do more damage. To make the raid go quicker and you know to increase my DPS so I can brag about it on the damage meters and annoy people with it. So Outfitter kind of takes care of that because with Outfitter you can um, basically add sets that you want to use. So again, I have several sets right here. I have Fire PvE, Fire Trash, Frost PvE, and Frost Trash. So if I click on Fire PvE, see, there you go. It swaps out a few items. I now have Blood Find, so I'm not, I now have more hit. But if I want to go Trash, then I'll, all I have to do is click one button, and there you go. Instead of having to go through your bags and manually click this and that, and you might mess up and whatnot, this is much quicker. And again, I have a Frost PvE because I can use this set for Frost, but then again, this set has a Fire Damage Ring. I don't need that for Frost. So now I press Frost PvE and bam, there you go. Now I have the Ring of Spell Power. It's just a great add-on to have. I love it. It's amazing. So there you go, Outfitter. All right, uh, two more add-ons I want to talk about. Um, number one is Talos Buff Timers, which is a customizable bar add-on or a... Uh, buff add-on, excuse me. Basically, it uh, replaces the standard um, buffs, um, bar, the standard buff bars that vanilla comes with, and just uh, you, you can customize this. Again, you can move it around. You can make these icons bigger, smaller, wider, whatever you want to do. So again, it's it's great to have, and um, I love it. It's also nice that it keeps all the standard buffs like Arcan Intellect and and uh, 
fortitude, spirit, whatever. It keeps that into this little tab and all, all the extra things like mage armor. And let's say I want to pop some like uh, some spirit food right there. It, it, it shows that separately. So there you go. Um, and the last one I want to talk about real quick. Again, I can't really show you this because it's only for KT. It's called KT Mod. All it does is basically keep track of a few things. First of all, it keeps track of abilities that KT has, like Frost Blast and Fissure. So you can basically see the cooldowns of certain um, certain add-ons. So those are all the add-ons I can show you for now. Um, it's quite a lot. This video has gotten quite lengthy. But I hope I was able to show you some useful stuff that I use. Um, I hope I was able to explain why I use it. And I uh, hope I, I was able to show you guys some add-ons that you guys might like. And, and again... If you like one, it's in the video description. You can download it there and uh, fiddle, fiddle around with it yourself. But uh, yeah, that's all I have to show you for now. I'll be back again very soon with either a new stream or a new video. But then, but until then, I want to thank you for watching. I'm Hamish Wheel, and have a good one.